I don't really feel like I care about photography anymore. How you doing? My name is Michael Costa, lifestyle photographer, born and raised out of Mississauga, Ontario. And the point of this channel has always been for us to learn and grow together as aspiring photographers. It's kind of my slogan. I say it all the time, but it's true. The point is that I'm trying to document my key learnings as I go. And in those key learnings, there are highs and there are real lows. I'm kind of going through a low right now. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm going through a low. I got to say right now. I don't really feel like I care about photography anymore. But the reason I wanted to make this video today is because I'm kind of hoping that there's someone out there going through the same thing. I'm hoping that the things that I talk about in this video help you feel like you don't have to give up on photography. We're going to try and figure this out together. Now at the root of all of it, I think is just a lack of creativity. I think a lack of, of pushing myself outside of my comfort zone. Uh, really, a lot of the things that I talk about in the beginning of my channel, the things that I truly believed in and pushed out to you and said, hey, this is what you gotta do in order to not fall out of love with photography. And, and, and it's kind of a, a cool case study, but at the same time, it sucks. To be honest with you, I haven't shot a truly creative photo for me in probably a year, maybe even more. I've had a couple of portrait shoots since, but to be honest with you, I really hyper planned it to make sure that I got these shots that I needed to make sure that, that model walked away with photos that they wanted slash needed. That doesn't do anything for me. Now, I understand that there are a lot of creatives where that works for them, right? But for me, I get really juiced. I get really excited about photography when there's this like, up in the air element to it. And you gotta find what your mechanisms are. For me, it's that. For me, it's the In My Head project. For me, it's uh, some of the other projects that I've done earlier on that got me really, really hyped up. There's one thing that I did once, and I absolutely love this project. I, I wanna bring this back. I think it'd be really interesting series. Me and an old friend of mine, his name was Nick, very talented photographer, I'll link him down below. We had a project, I forgot what the project was called, oh, it was called Emotional Perspectives. That's what it was called. Now, Emotional Perspectives, the whole point of that was that everyone processes emotions differently. And so the idea was each month, one of us is responsible for picking a model. The three of us meet at one location and on the spot, we pick out of a hat an emotion. And the idea was that each of us would have one hour with the model to take a series of six images that would afterwards be put into a film strip format kind of framing. It was kind of cool. I'll show you some examples here, but it was so on the spot. It was so raw. It was so, this is how I, as a human being through the, 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 the different stems of nostalgia that I've had growing up through the different experiences and media influences that I've had growing up. This is how I interpret depression. This is how I interpret happiness, sadness, whatever that is. I loved how on the spot it was. And I just, I haven't done anything like that in a long time. I really don't want my best photos to be staring at me from two years ago. I would way rather have them waiting for me down the line. As far as YouTube goes, I feel like it's just an extension of what I've been saying. I haven't been pushing myself as a creative and I want my photography. I want my YouTube to feel like an extension of myself, but not just my personality, but my creative self. How do I distinguish myself as a, as a photographer, as a creative, and how does that come across in my photos and in my YouTube channel? I need to be a photographer first and a YouTuber second. No, that doesn't mean that I create less, but it means that I need to go and shoot photos more. It means that I need to go and push myself more. Look, 
I quit photography a few years back. I've talked about this so many times. I've since come back, obviously. Hi, my name is Michael Costa. There are a few creators that brought me back to it and they left me with these reasons, these reasons to come back. And I feel like I've really lost touch with those points. I do want to also point out, this is not scripted. This is actually, my. this thing's dead. I had some, some points, it's gone. The, the Mac, this thing's done. It's, I'm speaking to you. It's one thing to just say, I need to go out and take photos more. I've been saying that and it hasn't been doing anything. So I want to take a photo every single day and it could be with my phone. It could be with my camera, but I need it to be different. I need it to feel like I'm pushing myself and, and whether that's, I'm going to play with reflections or I'm going to drive just a little bit out of the way from home on the way back from work today and I'm going to get the sunset from a really cool spot. Whatever that thing is, it needs to feel organic and it needs to be new. It needs to feel refreshing and different. It needs to be me pushing myself and, and going out and doing that thing. I'm going to be posting on Instagram every single day. Is that a good idea? I don't know. That's the video. I hope that if you were one of a million people on the cyberspace that found your way on this channel, found your way onto this video and was able to relate to this, that you found some sort of comfort knowing that you're not the only one going through it. I feel like everybody lacks that spark. It's just a matter of being self-aware and taking a step back and being like, well, why though? Why? I'm not about to go back and quit photography again. Not that easily. Hope you're not either. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. You can like and subscribe and comment. I'm gonna tell you something. Now, this is something that no one else is telling you. I don't want you to do those things. I only want you to do those things if you actually found value and or appreciate this video. And I said, ain't telling you that one. You can only find that here. Yeah, that was probably a bad idea. My name is Michael Costa, photographer, born and raised out of Mississauga, Ontario. I'll see you next time.